How'd you sleep? Getting used to the couch. Kathleen. Two nights in a row, Kath. I had a lot of work to do last night. And uh, I figured if I started banging around in the bedroom, then I'd really wake you up. That's the only reason, is it? No. So how about the truth? Okay. I can't go on like this anymore. Frankie isn't. I just can't let her go. It's you and me. You're right. What? You're just not the man I used to know four years ago. What? True. How long have you felt like this? Oh, for a while. I wanted you to go to L.A. because I felt really miserable. You're miserable. I hate to break it to you, Cass, but you're just not fun anymore. Kathleen... So I think the best thing would be for you to move out. Kathleen... The separation would do us both some good. I know what Felicia told you. What? That I was planning to move out. Sorry you had to hear it that way. Well, I'm just grateful that someone I know can be honest with me. Ever since I first found out that you were alive, I've been trying to do the right thing. Do the right thing? Four words I hate most in the world. So I went to L.A. and tried to get some distance on all of this. And, uh... I finally saw what I've been doing. Not the right thing, obviously. When I moved in here, I believed it would work. I wanted this to work. Okay. Well, it just seems pretty obvious that all I've really been doing is trying to relive the past. And in doing that, I've made a mess of the present instead for everybody. So you're moving out. Back to my office. Coward. Excuse you me. You are giving up on us because starting over isn't a piece of cake. This isn't starting over. It's a time warp. That's who? Kathleen, we were given a second chance. We had to try. So, it, and it didn't work out beautifully in just two months, so to hell with that? This doesn't feel like our marriage used to feel. So you're just walking out. I'm not all here. It's not fair to you. I decide what's fair to me, Kath. Me. I'm doing this because I love you, oh, Kathleen. Please. Kathleen. Being married to you was the happiest time of my life. Yes, and you gave it up. You did it for a good reason, I guess. But you did it, Kathleen. You. So I guess I chose to save your life and my family. So I guess now I have to pay the piper. Is that right? What we have now is not enough to make us happy, is it? So how do we build a future on it? I will never forget what we had. But we have to look at what we have now. We have cars lurking everywhere. Could you maybe just give us a break This here? isn't all because of Carl. And what is it? I'm censoring myself with you. I never did that before. Hey, Tom. When I stop, we get into fights. About what? Or more succinctly, about whom? Kathleen. We fight about Frankie. No, don't put Frankie in the middle Frankie of all of this. Frankie is always in the middle of this, Cap. This is about you and me and the fact that I've changed and you can't stand it. That's who? Four years is a long time. People change. I've had choices to make. I made it too soon. Kath, you, you've only given us two months. Two months. We need time to get to know the new us. I like the new me. I just don't think that you do. Don't speak for me. I love you, Kath. I love you. I love you very much. I can't help it if I miss the old Kath, too. I, I married him against my better judgment, but it was the best thing that I ever did. Charming and irresponsible. It's a little old when you're over 35. I've outgrown it. And me too. I don't know. If, 
If we had had those four years together, Kathy, we would have we would have taken those steps, those changes, one step at a time. We we would have gotten used to these new improvements. We probably would have. But we didn't have that chance, did we? Yes, we had a love that made us both breathless. Are you ready to give that up? We can make this work. Oh, when we're so different. I told you that in New Orleans, Cass. You said the important things hadn't changed. I believed it. I still believe it. We fight all the time. That's you thought, Cass. It's not about whether we loved one another. I'm just trying to be realistic. Were you realistic when you asked me to leave the witness protection program? I was totally prepared to stay away from you and Bay City. I know but you, you were. But you promised me my life back out. You promised me my family and you my still friends. You have all of those but things. But not you. Why? Have you satisfied your curiosity? Is that it? I mean, is it gratitude? Is it guilt? I thought it was love. And it's not. Before, when we were together, we weren't hurting anyone. We were free. I warned you there would be pain, Kat. That's right, you did. But you gave up everything for me, so I tried to do the same thing for you. Can't you please try to understand? I turned my back on Frankie, on my home, on my life. And now you're sorry. I'm not sorry we tried. I wanted this to work. Obviously, you think it hasn't. So what do we do now? If you want to leave, you should leave. You're in even more danger from Carl now than before. I'll handle Carl. Kathleen. I handled him perfectly well on my own the other night at Tops. He was there. What did he say to you? He practically admitted that he shot Grant, and then he gloated over the fact there was no real evidence. Did he say anything about Grant being signet? Oh, yes. He said that everything that happened to Grant was my fault, and that I should take total responsibility. What? We seem to have moved on to psychological warfare. Did he threaten you? Not overtly. My guard was standing right there. He's playing mind games with you because he can't get at you any other way. It works with me. This always works with you. Are you kidding me? You were born guilty. You don't know everything about me, okay? I am sick of that. I happen to be a lot smarter and a lot wiser than I was four years ago. I've grown up, too. Carl Hutchins can say anything he wants about me crying wolf. It just doesn't change the Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Back up. What did Carl say about you crying wolf? He said that he could do anything he wanted to me because nobody believes my damsel in distress role anymore. It's just the same life. I believe you. Every... I'm staying here until the cops get Hutchins. I don't need another guard. You don't have any say in the matter. Excuse Sorry. me? I'm going to help you get through this. I'll continue to stay on the couch. <laughs> what? Well, Carl Hutchins drove us apart, and now he's holding us together. That's not accurate. Well, let me be more precise. I don't want you here. Not like this. You're very emotional right now. If you'd just take some time to calm down... Hey, guys, I'm going to be on my own from now on. So could you make sure that somebody is actually awake for the night shift? Where are you going? Never mind. Just make sure that you are gone when I get back. No. On second floor. Marv, I have to go now. Can you make sure that Cass does not follow me when I leave? You're not being rational now. You can't do this. Watch me. Kathleen! 